My name is Linda Melvin, and I'm going today be working on non-objective work. The work that we do and that I show you how to pour is pretty much non-objective work. Anybody that sees your work may say, oh, I see this or I see that. But the truth of the matter is everyone will see something different in what you paint. One of my first non-objective pieces that I did was this piece. And the first time I did it, I thought, oh, it is, and I didn't have to do a whole lot of uh, enhancing on it. I said, it's a dancer. Somebody else said to me, no, I think it is a turtle. And then my mother, who was uh, Thursa Godby, who was a juvenile probation officer for 44 years, that's the reason I'm so good today, couldn't misbehave, she said, no, it's a deer. She said, look at the antlers at the top and his back here. This is the back of his neck and his face. And there's an eye, his nose, and his um, back of his back. And I could see it then. Prior to that, I could not see it at all. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to look into work that we do that is non objective work, and we're going to turn it into something. So the piece that I did earlier was one similar to this. And in this piece, I see a woman, her arms out, it's a cruciform piece, and I really, to myself, I say, I don't think I have to do a whole lot. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to say, but I feel it needs just a little bit here, and in my eyes, it's perfect. doesn't happen like that very often, but every once in a while, we get lucky. So I'm going to mix up paint that I think I'm going to like to put with this. I'm going to come in here, walk it out, And in my eyes, I feel she's done. Now, the last time when we enhanced, it took us a long time to enhance, and we added rice paper, and we added gauze. But today, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to give you a couple of other examples to show you exactly what the difference is. So here's another piece. I think I'm kind of in a George O'Keefe area these days, because this kind of looks like a flower. I could go in and enhance it if I wanted to, and I may do it a little bit, but this piece is pretty perfect. I love the way all of this came out to the side and how it came out here. It really looks like a flower. You might think it looks like a flame, too. The colors are what make you feel that way. Another piece that I did, but this one I felt like it needed to be enhanced. So I came in and I enhanced it to make all of the bright yellows come out, which I really like. So I hope today this little short session, because of the fact we didn't have to do much enhancing on anything, gives you a little light in what I'm trying to do and how each time I do something, it's a little bit different. I used different paper today. I used 140 pound hot press. I use the Delusions ink sprays, I use the Radiant watercolors, and I use the Hydras. So I hope this helped you, and it's a little backup of what we've done before, and I hope today you make it a masterpiece.